Hey, hello friends and welcome to Retro Portal Studio. This video is not a tutorial, but a concern that I would like to share with the Flutter community. In this video, we're going to discuss the biggest problem that Flutter is facing today. Flutter, as you may notice, is one of the fastest growing frameworks out there for hybrid application development in 2020. Even for web development, Flutter team is doing an amazing job making it production ready. As of now, startups have really started choosing Flutter for their projects, which has led to a noticeable rise in jobs for Flutter developers. With everything going this great, where is the problem then? Well, the problem I'm going to talk about here is not one with Flutter itself as a framework, but with the mindset with which it is being perceived by developers and companies. A large number of developers who start using Flutter are the ones who have next to no experience with mobile application development or programming in general. Now don't take me wrong, it's not a bad thing at all. Flutter conceptually is made to make it easy for people to get started. But when you have no experience with programming and you start basic Flutter UI, it's likely for you to build a misconception that everything is going to be this easy with Flutter. In actuality, this is not true at all. Once you're done with simple UI, things are going to get pretty complex, especially when you have no prior experience with application development. For creating enterprise-level applications or good applications in general, you must have a good knowledge of a few things. From my perspective, every professional Flutter developer must know the features and concepts of Dart, which is the language for Flutter. The developer also should have a good knowledge of separation of concerns, because in Flutter, there is no clear separation between the UI logic and the business logic, so you have to manage that yourself. And because of that, it's absolutely necessary for Flutter developers to know how to separate their business logic from their UI code. Along with this, for bigger apps, the UI becomes more complex. And it is crucial to manage the state of that complex UI. For this, every Flutter developer should have a good knowledge of UI state management. And now, because you have a complex UI with state management and the business logic, it is crucial for developers to write optimal code base with descriptive names keeping in mind the reusability of the code. And because of this, every developer should have a good knowledge of writing optimal and managed code base. This includes using proper naming conventions, folder structures, package management, and so on. Flutter developers also must have a good knowledge of native code. Because once you start creating apps, at some point you're going to need background processing, notifications, camera, or other tasks that depend highly upon native code. There is no doubt that there are so many packages that can help you in completing native tasks, but at some point, you'll have to code the native things yourself. There are a lot more things that Flutter developers should know, but these are the most common ones. When you go into learning and practicing these concepts, you need to have patience and persistence. And in most cases, people who have never written code or have never tried to learn code before don't understand this. And this is where things go wrong. When developers don't give enough time to learn the concepts, they blame the framework or find the domain of application development not suitable for them. Or even worse, they skip the concepts and keep creating things with limited knowledge and skip over things that they don't think they'll be able to understand. Now this is a major problem. And it further can lead to bigger problems such as unnecessary hate for framework and community. I've seen this in Facebook groups, LinkedIn, or even YouTube that people who don't even know the basic concepts try to learn things that are way above their scope at that point. And once they don't give enough time to understand, they blame the framework or they try to compare it with other frameworks that they know. Other than this, when developers skip over concepts, this also leads to poorly coded apps on app stores, which keeps new developers and companies from opting the framework, because they think that the app does not perform on par in comparison to native code. This issue was back there in 2018 also, when I started using Flutter, but instead of this issue being resolved, this has become much more prevalent, and until we do something about it, this will keep harming the community internally. So what is the solution for this? Well, according to me, the only solution to this is to educate beginner developers to focus on their fundamental programming skills and understand the core of Flutter framework before putting it into professional use cases. Rather than working on dummy UI projects all the time, developers should focus on real-world problems with their own app ideas. Only when you put your skills to use, they will get sharper with time and you'll be able to learn much more than you thought you were capable of. The only reason I've made this video is to keep beginners from making the same mistakes that most Flutter developers make. The problems that we have discussed here does not only belong to the Flutter community, but to the whole programming community to some level. 
Programming is one of the most in-demand skills in the coming future, and it is up to us to help the community not just grow, but also flourish. So I hope with this video, I was able to give some fresh perspective to beginner Flutter developers. And if you find this useful, consider sharing this video and the article in the description. I'll be coming up with a new Flutter tutorial soon. See you next time. Peace.